I didn't do the climb because I suck at climbing. So we're gonna try this. It's kind of a traversal. So Tiff, you get to see what it looks like a little bit. Uh, shape I am. I hope I've got the camera at the right angle. Still working on that. So we're just gonna go over here to a trail called Nachos. Right now I'm on the uh, south side of Ute. So if you're wondering where I am, that's where I am. Also, I need to make sure to see what the, the wind capture is like on this thing. Since they put the mustache and hairpiece on my guy. See how he does. I don't know, we'll see. But just gonna take it nice and easy over to Nachos. There's another climb. Um, I won't record that for the sake of battery and boringness because who wants to watch me do that? Ride the struggle bus for 10 minutes while I try to get to the top of a hill. Nobody wants to see that. But yeah, so that was a bad line choice. <laughs> So I don't think I'm going to take you on this part, or the next one. Alright, so that trail right in front of me, that's the bottom of nachos, that's where it comes out. I'm going over here. How's it going? Alright, and a climb. So I will not be recording this. Cheers. All right, love, this is the top of nachos. Um, you get to see it. So, that right down there is where I'm going. Nice call out of you. Um, I go pretty slow through this whole thing, so I kind of suck. But uh, you'll get to see, I walked like all of the features. First time I was over here, so it's pretty cool. So, finally get to see what it looks like. All right. Have a good one. So people go flying through this. This is like the fast times right now, like I think 45 seconds. I think I take like a minute and a half to get through this whole beast if I'm like hucking it. Because, oh, that's the wrong one. Because A, I don't need it. That'd be very good. But B, also just not as good. Maybe you'll see there's like, I already skipped a big drop, which was one of the first turns back there. Then I eat a pluck, I'm just past the second big drop. This part is more finesse than anything else. So those are each bike, I don't know, probably foot, foot and a half. Fun though. Then this part gets flowy. This part is a lot of fun. So I'd usually go off of that. Can't see a dang thing right now because all the sun. And then we're back to this trail. Huzzah! And then this is where I like, so that's my lap. I go all up. This is back to that traversal thing I showed you. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's fun. I'm not a beast, I don't go climbing up over the big stuff, I go around it. Cause I'm old and out of shape. Or weak. So those drops right there, all these rocks that came flying down. So that's what that looks like from the side. So you can get an idea. That's probably one of my favorite little drops in this park. Cause it's, Super small, comparatively. It's pretty chill. I 
So these right there is what I went off of last time. I think I can connect them to be like a jump, to be cool. So this one I'm probably gonna, gonna put my bell on for a hot minute because I don't feel like running into anybody. I don't really want the sound on the descent, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That other one is a good beeline. line. A line maybe, I'm not sure. That was a bit steep. I took the wrong line. It's more easy than I can do physically. But see how this one's nice and mellow. It's fun. Gosh, man, the sun is really in my eyes. So yeah, so that's the fun part. The rest of this is just kind of a. Uh, Mellow bumpiness, some turns. But this is the lap I take when I'm doing a lunch lap. Luckily, normally the sun's not poking through the trees. And... It's like making me nervous for some reason. And so that's where I came from, right here. So this is, you don't really see it, my GoPro footage, because I didn't record it, because it's part of the climb. Yeah, so it's good times. And we're coming all the way back. I like uh, this is well this was Ute Valley. And that was a lot of fun. Alright, see ya.